Hi, I'm Steve Sample with Bama Talk. Don't miss a single episode of Bama Talk Show available now on iTunes, Stitcher, or your favorite podcast app and on the web at bigbrainsmedia.com. This is the Weather Extreme video. This is for Wednesday, July 3rd. I'm James Spann. Everybody getting set to enjoy a big holiday tomorrow, and it's going to be wet at times. We'll check some of the Skycam shots. These were captured uh, early this morning at the insane hour of 5 a.m., that's the uh, Birmingham Sky Cam. A little rain uh, just north of the city as I uh, capture that. They've got low clouds overhead. Up north, there's the Cullman Sky Cam. They've seen some rain early this morning. That's U.S. Highway 278 down below, just east of downtown Cullman. And that's our Sky Cam in Fultondale, north of downtown Birmingham, adjacent to I-65. Well, there's our uh, situation. The uh, pattern is uh, all blocked up over North America. Big upper high out west, a big trough over the middle of the nation and a big upper high over the Atlantic. And uh, with the trough axis now west of the state, that puts us in this favorable dynamic lift. And with a good plume of tropical moisture, that just means rain at times for a while. Temperatures around the nation still hot out west. Uh, 104, I see, up into parts of Idaho. But hey, look at the cool air over the Great Lakes. I mean, nobody's talking about that. The high yesterday in Chicago was 68 that's the coolest July 2nd in 73 years. And we're going to stay, stay below average here for the foreseeable future. In terms of uh, watches and warnings, of course, out west, they've got the heat advisories, but uh, a lot of flash flood watches for the southeast United States. And we note the Weather Service in Huntsville and the Weather Service in Tallahassee, they put some of their Alabama counties in flash flood watches. Uh, up north, you got Huntsville and Scottsboro and Cullman. Uh, Fort Payne in a, a flash flood watch and down to the south, Dothan, Geneva, Ozark in a flash flood watch. And I get the idea the Weather Service in Birmingham might fill in those counties over East Alabama uh, in between those at some point along the way as we're going to see some big rains. We'll look at numbers here in a minute. Severe weather possibilities today. Uh, no formal risk here, we, but we've got the 5% probabilities over most of the state. So there could be a strong storm later today, but organized severe weather not expected. And really the same thing tomorrow. Uh, parts of Mississippi and Alabama with that 5% chance. But here's the story. Uh, big rains. I mean, come on. Look at this. This is the rain through Monday morning of next week at 7 a.m. local time. And this is really suggesting rain amounts here of 2 to 5 inches for most of the state. Uh, heavier numbers uh, just to the south and north. This has 6.8 inches at Panama City and 6 inches just east of Nashville. Uh, and was also suggesting just could be the heavier totals over the eastern two-thirds of the state, but everybody should get some good summer rain. This is very important. I know it's inconvenient. I know that. But we're going to be thankful for this come uh, late July and August as the uh, good soil moisture will really tend to mitigate any potential serious hot weather. Now, this is the high-res NAM valid through Friday afternoon at 1 o'clock local time. Just one model run, but uh, the, th this model has been consistent in suggesting the idea of the heaviest rain on the eastern side of the state. Uh, it's got amounts there of five inches running from uh, just northeast of Birmingham up to about uh, Scottsboro uh, with very light amounts up in northwest Alabama. And it might work out that way, but, but again, we're not confident enough in that to, to kind of leave that northwestern corner out of the high rain chances. We'll take a look at things and fine-tune it as need be. Uh, tropical weather, the circle guys have uh, the Yucatan circled with uh, thunderstorms there, but a 10% chance of developing. We don't, don't expect any tropical storm issues uh, for the rest of the week. We'll check modeling. This is the OZGFS, valid at 1 o'clock local time this afternoon at 500 millibars. Big upper high over California, Nevada. Big trough over the central U.S. and an upper high that's over the Atlantic. That's a 597 high out there that's off the east coast of the United States. But for us, with the position of the trough and the moisture, should be a fairly uh, wet day today with occasional showers and storms. Uh, there's the high-res NAM ballot at uh, 5 o'clock this evening. And it's got showers and storms over most of the state. Highest today, low to mid-80s. Independence Day tomorrow. Uh, there's a look at the... Uh, uh, NAM, and it's got, uh, this is at 4 o'clock tomorrow afternoon, 
And again, you can see how it's kind of hinting that the most widespread, really heavy rain could be over the eastern half of the state. But clearly, everybody with a good chance of rain tomorrow will struggle to get out of the 70s. The rain could be heavy at times. And I uh, can't rule out the chance of some flash flooding issues. Could the rain linger into tomorrow night? Yes. Uh, with that dynamic support from the trough, this is not your typical you know, afternoon and evening scattered showers we see on the 4th. And that could be a problem for some fireworks displays. And again, it's not going to rain all day. There'll be some breaks. But when the rain comes, the rain could be heavy at times. So for tomorrow, think wet. This is Friday at 1 o'clock. Again, high res Nam showing maybe the most uh, concentrated rain over the southern two-thirds of the state from Tuscaloosa, Birmingham, Anniston South. But again, it could rain at anywhere at any time on Friday. And the same deal. High is probably low 80s, a good 10 degrees below average. All right, let's check the weekend. This is Saturday, and really no change. A deep moisture axis stays right on top of us with rain and thunderstorms likely. Low 80s. Sunday evidence the showers thin out a little bit, but still that would suggest scattered to numerous showers and storms. Temperatures easing up toward the mid 80s. And here's Monday of next week. You know, at one point the model had really tried to build the uh, Atlantic Ridge in here. Uh, but it, it, it still leaves a weakness over Alabama. It's got the upper high to the west and to the east. And with that, uh, Monday still looks pretty moist with scattered to numerous showers and storms. And I still think highs hold in the 80s. I think the last time we saw 90 here was back on June 30th. And uh, Tuesday, still pretty moist. And a week from today, same deal. Upper highs to the east and west. Down below that, we're pretty moist. So uh, at least scattered showers and storms, maybe numerous at times with highs upper 80s. Let's check the end of the forecast. July 17th, the nastiest heat in the nation stays out west. 597 heat uh, out there and around here. We still have a weakness that still looks moist. And again, that would suggest no excessively hot weather with a pretty decent chance of showers and storms. That's it for the Weather Extreme video today. We are on the holiday schedule for a while. Uh, with the fourth year, so we'll be doing one video per day. So we'll crank out another one at some point uh, during the day tomorrow. Of course, notes always on the blog, alabamawx.com. And if you can, catch us on ABC 3340 News this evening on the live stream or the television side at 4, 5, 6, and 10. Thanks for watching. Have a great day, and God bless. Hey, this is Ross with my partner, Bob. We have a show called Worldview Matters. And Ross, as you know, we believe that everything in life is somehow related to how people view the world around them. Our show is available on iTunes, Stitcher, or your favorite podcast app. Also available on the web at bigbrainsmedia.com.